So in 2019, I had set myself a pretty big goal of walking 30,000 steps every single day for a week while eating a Rots of Four vegan diet. Now, why walking? Walking is one of those exercises that's fundamental to our humanity. It helps us get from A to B. It's fundamental in our evolution from going to places, getting food. It's a great form of exercise. It strengthens your bones. It helps you build muscle. It helps you burn fat. Uh, it's just one of those things that you, know, you can do with a friend. It's a very sociable activity. So I thought, why not challenge myself? I know people are doing 10,000 steps challenge. Uh, at the time, I had already did 20,000 steps a day while eating a plant-based diet. So I, I said to myself, why not go for 30,000 and see uh, how far I can push things? 30,000 steps a day for one week. A huge smoothie, five bananas and 500 grams of dates. I will need the energy this week. So last week I did 20,000 steps a day and uh, today I woke up and I, I feel very strong. My legs feel very strong, feel very capable of uh, accomplishing this task. Uh, I've got five mile routes uh, in my local area and uh, which is very handy because it just means I have to do the, that route three times um, just to get a rough idea of where I'm at so I don't have to keep like checking my phone or anything um, but yeah it should be fun just listening to some audiobooks um, and uh, doing my best just to uh, enjoy the process uh, always being in like nature and uh, listen to the sounds um, of the birds uh, just so nice so it's very uh, meditative very relaxing very healing um, and as well, moving your body this much, releasing endorphins, uh, and endorphins just make you naturally feel good. So uh, I'm getting the steps in. Currently, I'm um, around 9,000 or so steps, which is just over four miles. So getting it in, and uh, yeah, it should be fun. So just got 30,000 steps there. Uh, it was pretty uh, simple, pretty easy. I basically do around seven miles before uh, work and then seven miles after. Uh, it would be really like a lot more uh, difficult if say you have like a desk job. Like in my job, like uh, I'm walking around and stuff like that. So it's not as bad, but uh, it's still possible. You could still uh, get this done. You just have to wake up, do seven miles, and do um, seven miles after work, seven miles before work, seven miles after work, and uh, you'll be very close to that marker, and then uh, everything else will be made up from, you know, just walking around here and there the other day. But uh, uh, glad to be done. Gonna head back to the house now and get some food. So back in the crib after finishing uh, 30,000 steps, uh, that was incredibly fun so much sights to see bumped into a lot of friends and that's something you'll notice like in your city you'll just bump into a lot of people and I, I, I made a note of that in the social um, aspect of walking 20,000 steps a day that you are presented with a lot of opportunities to speak to people in your community people that you would probably never see because you're in your house uh, so that's good day one done my legs I feel it in my legs uh, ah, <laughs> my toes. I feel like I've got like a, a blister or something coming, but like uh, I felt this before. I experienced this before doing sales. The first week or so um, is the worst for your feet, but then your feet kind of adapt. I'm just holding up this stick. But yes, now to eat some tasty, delicious vegan food to replenish myself. I'm really, really digging Pak Choi at the moment, so I'm going to hit that up. 
and the way and a, a, a scenario that you can put yourself in to determine um, our frugivore nature is put yourself in an imagine an empty field an empty environment and then you could artificially put um, any life form on there but there's two caveats you can't cook your food and you can't use any tools what sort of population of, of animals or plants would you like to would you like to have like what sort of environment would you create one with starches um, that are raw and stuff like that you wouldn't be able to eat because you can't use fire and a lot of starches you can't digest animals uh, we don't really we don't really have the faculty to be able to catch and kill animals consistently um, without tools or fire and eat them raw so lastly is one containing fruits and leaves and this should be the chief aim of our diet according to the raw to four vegan philosophy and the fact that uh, a lot of us wouldn't want to kill animals um, just indicates that we shouldn't and in a scenario such as this in the scenario that we're living in veganism on the rise we see that we don't actually have to eat animals um, to survive you know so that is what the Rotel 4 philosophy is really popularized by Freely the banana girl but this goes further beyond um, our knowledge of Freely and Jury Rider and, and the Rotel 4 community this goes back to Harvey Diamond um, with his book Fit for Life and probably a lot of the raw food um, uh, promoters back in the day because a lot of them would have promoted transition transitional philosophy such as Arnold Eric where you would have had fruit for breakfast and then starches and greens for dinner it's also a growing community of people on starch based diets promoted by John McDougall um, and the Rotel 4 philosophy gives you a, like a lot of the benefits of the raw food lifestyle um, throughout the day and then the comfort of the starches in the evening so this is what a Rot to 4 philosophy is. I highly recommend it. I really do believe human beings are frugivore and it makes more sense than anything else. Again, if you put yourself in that environment, what environment would you want if you couldn't use tools and you couldn't use fire? <laughs> it's very simple whenever you put it like that. So, so without further ado, let's get into the let's get into the video. It's just showing some clips of this period of my life whenever I did this challenge. Ooh, there it is. Black bean and pak choy with some rice. Oh. Day two, 30,000 steps a day. Banana day two, Get the calories in. Got all the beautiful plants. Thor, Thor Ragnarok. Yes. So day three, walking 15 miles a day which works out to be around 30,000 steps and I'm doing it eating a high carb vegan lifestyle. Uh, lots of rice, lots of potatoes, uh, lots of fruit and uh, I've got a quick tip that I've learned is that if you're going to do this, if you're going to put in those uh, mileage, it's best to get up in the morning early, early-ish time and just go out straight for a walk. You know, brush your teeth, drink some water, um, maybe grab a piece of fruit get out get out the door um, it's around 10 a.m. now I left the house around uh, 8 o'clock or shortly after 8 and I've just been walking around um, and I've got almost around seven miles done so that helps so much you don't want you want to be um, maybe say coming home from work having to do like 10 miles you don't want that so quick tip get up do something. So just picked up a new water bottle. So pink because you know pink's a very masculine color, of course. <laughs> um, just to help with you know staying better hydrated. I know if I can get two of these a day, I'll be on the track. Uh, normally I try to get around uh, three three liters of water. Um, so this this is this should really help. Jobs or should documentary. Yeah. I'm actually gonna call this a man cave. 
I'm carb. <laughs> Yo, good morning everybody. Another day getting 15 miles done, 30,000 steps, fueling up, day pudding with some bananas, high carb. Let's hit it. So today's actually been pretty good. Uh, I came out of work six o'clock there, and I already have uh, ten miles done. I already have ten miles done, so just five miles to go. Uh, actually, on my way to an activist workshop, vegan activist workshop. So let's go. So I'm on the go. Uh, haven't really had much to eat apart from the smoothies and a bit of fruit and work. So got this in the Chinese. Uh, restaurant for 250. That's pretty good. Portion of rice, mushrooms, peas, and stuff. It's pretty good. I'm happy. I'm delighted. Could have done with some soy sauce, maybe some gluten free soy sauce, but they didn't have any. So I'm just gonna eat it like this. So we've just completed around seven miles there walking. Uh, it was an absolutely beautiful day. Beautiful day here in Belfast. So uh, it was good to actually get out here. My legs are sore, I'm not gonna lie to you. The legs are sore. I'm feeling it from uh, just a whole week of walking 15 miles a day. So my legs are feeling the I'm still very, so very, very grateful to have legs. Uh, one of the things I'm learning about. Uh, the way I'm going about uh, walking this many steps is that you can apply the same strategy, same methodology to any really, any skill. Just start small and just build on it week by week. Uh, so I'm going to do it with, with reading. This time I'm going to see uh, if I can do 10 pages, 20 pages, 30 pages and just go from there the same way I've done 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 steps. And just to show people and show myself that you really can adopt skills gradually and consistently, um, and you know just keep keep at it and build that way. The onions are cooking. Throw in the beans. Very simple, does it? From there, throw in the broccoli. 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 Mm. I love broccoli. I think broccoli has to be up there. One of my favorite veg vegetables ever. Broccoli and pak choy. Ah, put my hand away from the screen. Uh, broccoli and pak choy, and spinach and kale. Oh, so good. So good. So I'm very easy when it comes to um, cooking a lot of dishes. Um, totally um, complex. I like the simplicity. Stuff easier. I'm gonna try this one angle. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> so, yeah, you really want to get uh, as much nutrition as you can throughout the day. Um, generally speaking, my smoothies are filled with bananas, dates, berries, and in dinner times, whenever I really pack in the nutrition in terms of like greens and beans. And all sorts. So I'm just gonna let that cook, let that all wilt. And I'm gonna add soy sauce and sriracha, which is like heaven. So, as you can see, 
seven days walking 30,000 steps every single day. I hit my best week that, mo that month that I did that. I hit my best week on my Step Up app and yeah, it was challenging, but it was incredibly fun and the Raw to 4 Vegan Lifestyle helped me to be able to do it. It provided me with the glucose, the energy, the nutrition to be able to get this challenge done. And I've seen people going for 20,000, 30,000 steps per day um, and or even more than that and they're not eating right. They're not eating right. So if you want tasty, delicious, high carb, low fat, vegan recipes, Raw to 4 style, please link in the description my ebook plant based to the face over 40 different recipes um salads soups smoothies rice dishes potato dishes pasta dishes desserts all to help you along your journey and if you are looking one-on-one -on -one coaching on how to adopt a raw to four uh, vegan lifestyle um, for weight loss and to learn more about animals etc and walk fitness then please hit me up in the uh, description section below. You'll see my email or my Instagram. Hit me up there and let's work together. And with that being said, hope you give this challenge a go, a, a walk fit challenge and a raw to four vegan lifestyle for the planet, for the animals, and also for your health. Peace.